Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Wednesday, November 30th. It's cycle to 10. It means you have a library today. Let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys and girls, you may be seated today because <laughs> it's Wednesday. That means it is Pizza Wednesday. I mean, what? Well, Mr. Slosh Pell's crazy. It's Chicken Nugget Wednesday, of course. Chicken Nugget Wednesday. So, chicken nuggets and a dinner roll. Or you can have your mini mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce or a chef's salad and a dinner roll. Your sides are corn and a fresh banana. And then there's the salad bar option. Now it's the last day of November. I wonder what we're going to have tomorrow since it will be what comes after November. That's right. December. Okay. And it's probably just going to be hot chocolate every single day for lunch in December. Right. Isn't that what we do here? Maybe some candy cane. Just kidding. Tomorrow will be December 1st. We have a popcorn chicken bowl or pizza sticks with marinara sauce or a zesty Italian wrap. So you have those three options again. Your sides will be whipped potatoes and gravy and pears with the garden bar or salad bar offered as well. All right. Oh, birthdays. Zero, zilch, nada, none. No birthdays today. And that's it for November birthdays. Special announcements. Um, I just want to say I am very proud of many, 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 many of you for bringing shoes to change into if we were allowed to go outside yesterday. I know it was really cold, so we didn't make it out there. I don't know what it's going to warm up to by the time you have recess today, if we'll be able to or not, but it looked like many of you were prepared to be able to be in the snow because you brought waterproof boots to change into. That is awesome. So I will send out an email to your parents thanking them for sending you prepared to be outside for recess. Now remember, if you do not have waterproof boots to change into, and we're going outside for recess and there's snow or slush or standing water out on the playground in the grassy areas and the gravel areas, you will have to stay on the pavement or the blacktop. Just remember that it doesn't matter if it's lunch recess or your recess with your classroom. Okay. Those are the rules. That's what we're going to do. And we're just going to continue with that. Now, it's supposed to warm up this week, so all that snow might melt. So just be prepared to do what you are supposed to do out there. And I know you'll do a great job. All right. So I just hope we're going to keep it kind of short and sweet today. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Remember, if we have indoor recess, you have the station set up. We are not running we're walking when we move from station to station when we finish a station we can pick it up and you don't have to put it away but you can leave it nicely for somebody to put it away when we get our turns now fifth grade usually ends up picking up everybody's stuff in there if we leave a giant mess and it's scattered everywhere it's going to take them longer to pick it up they might have to start earlier, so then they lose some of their recess. Please do not help fifth grade to lose some of their recess because they have to end earlier to pick up somebody else's mess. For those of you that were already doing that, thank you very much. We are extremely proud of you, and that helps everybody out. And I know fifth graders are very happy about it. All right. All right. Boys and girls, hope everybody has a fantastic day. We will see you in the hallways, in the classroom, in the lunchroom. I don't know about outside and all over the place. Um, remember, be an Eisenhower Eagle. You got to work hard. Be kind. Then you can soar like an eagle. Bye.